Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Fatty Ghost, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing Julian Brand. If you guys are looking for a good cam that doesn't break the bank, this is your guy. Let me give you guys a breakdown. So to start off with, guys, the cam style, I highly suggest you use a hunter on him, boost that pace up, boost that shot up. That's what I used. And guys, in this game, I'm gonna be discussing him using him strictly as a cam. That's what I use him. I use him in a 4-2-3-1 as the cam. So yeah, guys, let's get to it. So to start off with, guys, 81 pace overall, 77 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. With the hunter, guys, the pace goes up to around 90. Does he feel 90 pace? No, guys, he doesn't. I'd say with the hunter Kemsa, he feels about mid to high 80s. So the pace is definitely good enough. I would say like it's good enough to get in behind. It's good enough to if you do a skill move and you know you can uh, sort of run past someone. But he doesn't feel like electric. He's not like just you know burning dudes. So yeah, that's it. The pace is good. Considering for his position at cam, usually guys, if you see, not a lot of guys have like too much pace. So for his position, I'd say the pace is really good. But overall, general FIFA terms, I'd say it's good. You know, just about good, like a B. You know. So now we move on to the shooting guys, 78 overall, 80 positioning, 77 finish, 81 shot power, 80, uh, 80 long shot and uh, 77 curve. He also has the outside foot tread here, oh, he also has a 4 star weak foot and guys the shot felt awesome, it felt really good, his positioning was really good and just in general guys as you see you know very reliable in the box, I never felt like his finishing wasn't good enough in the box, like he was scoring from different angles too scoring chip shots long shot is very important for a cam considering you know the area they operate in you know so a lot of times they're like around the edge of the box and stuff so and he's got that guys very nice and yeah guys even like finesse shots are pretty effective he has 77 curves so yeah guys shot overall is great it's a well-rounded shot you know it's not like you know he has good finish but lacks the curve or long shot things like that overall it's good good shot power and of course that is boosted by the cam style so that's great so i'd say the shot especially for a cam definitely good we move on to the passing guys which is one of the more important stats when you consider a cam at least for this year you know you're not just looking at pace so yeah guys this is the outstanding stat of this card guys 82 pass overall 85 vision 81 cross 84 short pass 85 long pass and guys his passing felt incredible like some of the through balls he was making were so nice good thing about him also is he has uh, 85 long passing so even you know let's say you know you just uh, got the ball from your opponent that was in your half and now you need to play like you know that dream through ball trust me guys he's got it even the through balls he was making i mean outside the foot you know over the top things like that and like really nice uh you know passes really nice through ball so passing guys was excellent the best part of this card and yeah guys it's super important to have a good passer in the game this year and guys this guy definitely checks the box when it comes to passing guys he's definitely like you know right there you know probably under the likes of de bruyne and stuff but really good passing we move on to the dribble guys 86 dribble overall 84 agility 88 dribbling 84 composure how does he feel in game guys so he is 6-1 so he doesn't feel like you know that super agile super reactive um you know like those shorter guys like alejandro gomez someone like that uh but yeah because overall the dribble it he felt good on the ball but not like incredible so i'd say the dribble is good it's not you know the levels of you know those really high level dribblers i think uh you know part of it is because he's six foot one even though he has eight, eight, 84 agility he's not gonna feel as agile as those really small uh attacking midfielders so yeah guys now we get on to the physicality 66 physicality overall now we know like he's not this uh, beast of a uh, you know machine you know he's you know he's got a decent build and stuff. 71 strength is not bad but the important stat here is guys 80 stamina guys it is so important for your camp to have good stamina because in my opinion that's the position that uses the most energy like when you look at it guys like you know right backs or even wingers and stuff they sort of like stick to certain areas whereas camps they have to do defensive work they have to do offensive work and you'll notice guys you know cams usually take a lot of stamina so it's super important and the 80 stamina is dope guys you know he'll he'll last you to 90 minutes you know without too much difficulty sometimes you know in a in a very like intense game you know around the 80 minute mark you might have to sell him out so yeah guys what's my verdict of this card guys i highly recommend this guy if you look at it he has no real flaws you know good pace good shot you know four star weak for four star skills i forgot to mention the skills earlier but yeah guys you know he's a jack of all trades he doesn't like you know really excel in one thing but you know he's just good overall and if you guys look at cards like uh, kai havertz and stuff they have very similar cards but this guy's like a quarter of the price so yeah guys highly recommended peace